We are in Failover Cluster Manager on Windows Server 2012 R2. I'm going to show you how to do a live migration. So select the server you'd like to migrate, right click on it, and you get this whole new menu here. So when you're there, just go ahead and click on Move, click on Live Migration, and you can choose Best Possible Node, which if you have many nodes, it'll pick which one is the least busy or you can select the node. So I'll go ahead and select it. There's only two in this particular cluster, so we'll just choose the other one. Click OK, and you can watch your progress here. And this could take yeah, a few minutes, it could take an hour, just depends on how big the uh, migration is, how fast your speed is between the devices, that kind of thing. Now during the migration, you can click on the uh, virtual machine itself, and you can actually see that the virtual machine is staying up during this entire live migration. So uh, as it continues on, uh, at the very end, it will give one little blink and then it will uh, be all done. But the server will stay up the entire time because the storage for this particular server is on a shared data source, which is a, a SAN, an IBM SAN uh, block of hard drives that the two servers are sharing. So the Hyper-V never actually lives on either server. It lives actually in the storage area that they both have access to. And the servers themselves are just front ends to that particular server. All right, our live migration is done. We can see now that it's on V2 instead of V1, and the server stayed up the entire time. There was just a quick little blink. So that concludes live migration in 2012 R2 cluster.